Everybody lie down on your back in Shavasana. Arms and legs comfortably apart. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms and the shoulders. Relax the neck, head and the face. Relax the whole body. Let go in the mind. Slow down the breath. Make your breath longer and deeper. With the inhalation, feel the free flow of energy to the body. And the exhalation, releasing all the tightness from the body. Just let go, relax and breathe. Gently slide your feet together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head, your knees stretch to the body, stretch your whole body, release the stretch, bend the knees, down to one side, one side and please sit up, begin the prayer, sit up straight and close your eyes. Kajananam Buddhaganadi Sevitam Kapiti Jambo Palasari Bakshika Uma Sutam Chokabinashi Karanam Namami Vignature Bada Pankajam Shadananam Kumkumarakti Varnam Mahamadim Devi Mayura Bahanam Rudra Sisunam Surasenyanatam Buham Sadaham Sharanam Rapate Yakundin to Tushar Haratabura Ya Shubra was Dravita Ya Vina were the Nimanditikara Ya Shweta Padmasana Ya Brahmacha to Shankara Prabriti Bay Deva Sada Pujita Samam Batu Saraswati Bhagwati Nishi Shijaya Paha Om Namashivaya Guru Bay Satitan and the Murtai Nishra Panchaya Shantaya Shishivan and the Namaha Shri Vishnu Devananda Te Namaha Om Sarva Mangala Mangale Shiva Sarvartha Sadike Sharanye Trimpake Gauri Narayani Namostate Narayani Namostate Om Shanti 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 Om Vishwaya, let's get ready for the class. Sit up straight, sit up tall. Take two deep breaths in here. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Both the hands on your knees in chain mudra, preparing for the Kapalabhati practice. Bring the awareness to the abdomen. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Get ready to hold the breath. Inhale, a deep, a comfortable breath. Just a little less than your lung capacity. Focus at the third eye center. Relax the facial muscles. Sit up straight. Slowly exhale. Take a deep breath in. Lengthen your back. Open the chest. Roll the shoulders back and down. Maintain the same sitting posture, exhale. Now get ready for the second round of Kapalabhati. Focus on the abdomen. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one, two,
now at the third eye center. Get ready for the breath retention. Sit up straight. Inhale. Three quarters of your lungs. Hold the breath very gently. Slowly. With control. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Please stretch the legs forward. Roll the toes clockwise and anti-clockwise. Shake out the legs. Kapalabhati cleanses the nasal passage, the lungs and the entire respiratory system. It brings increased oxygen supply to the brain. <coughs> it also Strengthens and increases the lung capacity. If you're ready, please recross the legs. A comfortable position for sitting. Right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra, both the hands placed on the knees. Sit up straight, inhale a deep breath, expand the chest, roll the shoulders back and down, and exhale. One more breath, both the nostrils, inhale. And exhale. Now block the right nostril with your right thumb. Left inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Focus at the third eye center. Relax the face, relax the mouth, relax the jaw. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. It's a long breath, hold the breath gently. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight, a complete exhalation. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, retain the breath. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Keep the right elbow close to the chest and make your chin parallel to the mat, head in the center. Left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold gently, um, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Gentle breath retention, allowing the energy to circulate freely through the body. Relax the lower body, no tension in the buttocks and the thighs. Relax the knees closer down towards the floor. And if you have knee problems, please sit on the chair. And if you have back problem, don't forget to use a cushion. Sit on the cushion. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. 
Inhale, left arm one, arm two, arm three, arm four. Hold the breath gently. Keep the chest open, shoulders roll back and the back straight. Use the full lung capacity when you inhale, when you exhale. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, hold gently, close the nostrils. Watch your mind. If the mind has wandered, bring it back to the third eye center and concentrate on your personal mantra or the universal mantra Om. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, hold, close the nostrils. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, eight. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, repeat gently. Relax your eyes, relax the forehead, release the skin of the forehead down. Hold no tension on the face. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, hold. Close the nostrils. No pressure on the lungs. Relax the whole body, relax all the internal organs. No pressure on the abdomen, take it easy. Left exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, left, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, hold. This is the last round. Feel the calming, soothing effect on the mind. Balancing the breath in both the nostrils, balancing both the hemispheres of the brain. This practice of alternate nostril breathing. Right exhale, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, um, five, um, six, um, seven, um, eight. Inhale, right, um, one, um, two, um, three, um, four, which last breath retention. Left exhale, on um, one, on um, two, on um, three, on um, four, on um, five, on um, six, on um, seven, on um, eight. Bring the hand down. Put the hands on the knees in chin mudra. Relax the body, relax the breath. Normal gentle breathing. Keeping the eyes closed, we stretch the legs and lie down. Deep rest in Shavasana. Absorbing this energy into the body. So do not resist relaxation. Allow the body to relax with gravity. Do not allow the mind to wander. Focus on the breath.
Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms of the head, give a nice, nice stretch to the body, move your toes forward, try to touch the toes down to the floor. And pull the toes in, push your heels up, press the back to the mat, maintain the stretch, press the back, and exhale, release the stretch. Bend the knees to the chest, Hug the knees tightly and rock the body three times side to side. Just preparing yourself for sun salutation. Creating some heat, some energy in the spine, in the body. Knees to the right, head turning to the left. And now rock the body forward and backward with your hands under the thighs. Feel a nice massage to the spine, to the back. When you feel ready, please stand up. We practice sun salutation the first round. Come to the front edge of the mat. Bring your feet together. Let's take two deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now the first round of Surya Namaskar, feet are together, inhale and exhale, join the hands to the chest in prayer position. Inhale, stretch your arms up along the ears, push your buttocks forward, look up to the hands. Exhale, stretch your body forward and reach down, hands and feet in one straight line, bend the knees if you have to. Inhale, stretch the right leg back, stretch the chin up, hold the breath, take the left leg back into the plank, Abdomen tucked in, shoulders and wrist in one straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forwards, inhale, arch back into cobra, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, inverted V, look to the toes, press the heels, press the hands, tuck the abdomen. Inhale, bring the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, left leg back, look up. On the exhalation, bring the left leg forward. Shift the body weight forward, pressing the hands of the fingertips down. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up, pull up, and push your buttocks forward, look up. Exhale, relax. Left side, inhale, and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch your arms forward, reach up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Second round, inhale and exhale. Join the hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward, shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, join the hands in prayer. Inhale, lumps up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Third round, inhale. 
and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, join the hands in prayer. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, release. Fourth round, inhale and exhale. Join the hands in prayer. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back a little more than before. Look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Pull the abdomen and relax the body. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead or chin down. Inhale, cobra, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, inverted V. Hold it here and breathe. Bring the heels more down. If the heels are lifted up, just walk the downward dog or walk in the same spot, pushing one heel down and bending the other knee. So bending one knee and pushing the other heel down. Now just for a while, come up high on the toes, bend the knees. Bring the, bring the abdomen close to the thighs and push down with your chest. Feel a good pressure on the toes. Now slowly come back, put the heels down, spread in the knees. As you inhale, bring the right leg forward, right foot between the hands, push the left leg more back and look up. Don't lean forward. Please bring the back leg more back. On the exhalation, bring the left leg forward. Stay in the stretch, stay in the forward bend. Feel a good stretch in the hamstrings if you can straighten the knees without lifting the hands up. Chest is close to the thighs, forehead close to the knees. Now as inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Pull up with your waist, push your bodies forward. Keep the head in line with the upper arms and look up to the hands. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up all the way. Hold the breath, right leg back into the plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. <clears throat> Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V, press down, stay there, breathe. A same inversion, giving rest to the internal organs in the body. Feel the free flow of blood towards the heart, towards the head, feel the warmth in the face. Just keep pushing the chest down and feel the length of your back, the breadth of your chest. On the next inhalation, draw the left foot forward between the hands and move the right leg more back, look up. As you exhale, bring the right leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, release. Fifth round, inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. <clears throat> inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back all the way, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. More you stretch in sun salutation, better is the practice which follows. Inhale, cobra. 
exhale inverted wheel. Try to focus on each part of the body when you're doing sun salutation, focus on the stretches, focus on the breath. Inhale, bring the right leg forward. Let's stay here for a while, move the left leg more back, lift your hands off the mat, place the hands loosely on the right thigh and push the pelvis down. Just keep following the instruction. Arch your back, drop the head back, that's all. Slowly place the hands down. Let's complete the round on the exhalation. Bring the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back. Look up, arch back all the way. Push your buttocks all the way forward without bending the knees. And exhale, release. Left side, inhale and exhale. Join the hands to the chest in prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg all the way back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, body in one straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, large back. Exhale, inverted V, press down and lift up. Left leg, inhale forward. Move the right leg more back, lift the hands off the mat. Place the hands loosely on the left thigh and push the pelvis down. Stay here. Now arch your back and drop the head back. Find your balance. Just for two breaths, be here. And now place the hands down. On the exhalation, bring the right leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. And exhale, relax. Last round on the right. Feet together, inhale and exhale. Join the hands to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. <clears throat> Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back all the way. Look up. Hold the breath, left leg back. Body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide forward, inhale, arch back. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring the right leg forward. Look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the hands to the chest. Inhale, stretch your arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch your body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath right. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, bring the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, relax. Separate the legs apart. Slow down the breath. Relax the body parts. Please sit down, lie down, take rest in Shavasana. Arms apart and the legs apart. Relax. Focus to slow down the breath. Watch your body from toes to the head. Hold intention in any part. You need to breathe to that part and relax completely with the breath.
Bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up and give a nice stretch to the body. Stretch your whole body. Release the stretch. Arms close to the body. Let's prepare for the single leg raises. Feet together, toes pointing up, shoulders away from the ears. Remember to use the abdominal strength and not, not the neck or the shoulders in this practice. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. Knee straight, lower back on the mat. Toes pointing towards the head. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Now bring the left foot across the right thigh. Ardha Padmasana, half lotus. Inhale, raise the right leg up and catch hold of the right thigh from behind with both your hands. So you can insert the left hand from between the legs to catch hold of the thigh. Stay here and breathe. Do not lift the lower back. Keep the left knee moving away from the body. And tuck the chin in towards the chest. Right toes are pointing towards the head. Close your eyes. Breathe. Now, bend the right knee and hold the right shin bones with both your hands. Just for a while, stay here. If your knee hurts, you can hold the back of the right thigh instead of holding the shin bones. Lower back on the mat, left knee away from the body, right knee moving closer to the body. Now, as you exhale, raise the head up, chest up, and just keep following what I've told you just now, left knee away from the body. You don't have to force the right knee towards the chest. Just be comfortable with whatever you're doing. Lower back has to press down. Deepen the breath. Breathe into the hip joint. Working on the left side of the hip joint this time. And slowly as you exhale, place the head and chest down. Now raise the right leg up. Inhale. Arms close to the body. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Just for a while, bend the left knee to the chest. Inhale, raise the left leg up. And exhale, bring the left leg down with control. Now, bring the right foot across the left thigh. Half lotus and Padmasana. Inhale, stretch the left leg up. Hold the back of the left thigh and stay here to breathe. <clears throat> Load back on the mat. Left toes pulled in. And right knee, try to move it away from the body a little. Chin is towards the chest. Take a few deep breaths, slow breaths. And now bend the left knee, hold the left shin bones. If you have knee pain, please catch hold of the back of the left thigh and not the shin bones. Stay here. Keep pressing the lower back to the mat. Now on the exhalation, please lift your head up, chest up and come up. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Just do not do what is not good for you. Keep the body relaxed to draw the benefits from the posture. Anytime the neck is in discomfort, please feel free to place the head down. And keep focusing on pressing the back to the mat, moving the right knee away from the body. It's not really that important to draw the left knee very close to the chest. Just find your limit. Slowly as you exhale, bring the head and chest down. Now raise the left leg up. Inhale, exhale with control, bring the left leg down. Hug the right knee to the chest. Raise the right leg up as you inhale and exhale slowly with control. Bring it down. Adjust your body for the double raises. If the back is not good this morning, place the arms under the body or place the arms close to the body. 
legs together, toes pointing up. You can tuck the hands under the head. Now inhale, raise the legs up. Work with your abdomen, not with the neck or the shoulders. Exhale with control, bring the legs down close to the mat. Inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale, bring the legs down. Third time, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, fourth time up. Exhale down. Five up, inhale. Exhale down. Six up, inhale. Exhale down. Just two more times, inhale, come up. Very slowly, with control, exhale, bring the legs down. Hold it close to the mat. Last time, inhale, come up. Exhale, with control down and hold it close to the mat. Slowly, release the legs down. Relax in Shavasan, turn the head side to side. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up and give a long stretch to the body, stretch your whole body, release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over to one side, sit up, relax into the child's pose, Shashankasana, preparing for the headstand practice. So visualization is very important before you come up into the headstand. Taking baby steps in your journey. Don't jump into the practice. Just follow the steps and hold where you find your limit. Please slowly sit up. Sit up on the heels. Preparing for the hip stand. Hold the opposite elbows. Place the forearms close to the knees, ahead of the knees. Stretch your arms forward, interlock your fingers. Now lift the buttocks up, place the top of the head down, back of the head rest against the hands. Tuck the toes in, raise the knees off the mat and walk forward. Just for a while, stay here and breathe. And if it's possible, bend the knees to the chest. Move the knees up towards the ceiling. And straighten the legs up when you're ready. Once you're there, Try to reduce all the resistance to hold the posture. Do not unnecessarily pressurize your shoulders or the neck. Keep the abdomen pulled in. Relax each part of your legs from toes to the buttocks. Relax the whole body. And when you're very comfortable, close your eyes for a few breaths, still the body. Giving rest to the heart. Relieving the pressure from the lower back. Enhancing deep breathing and bringing a fresh supply of oxygen rich blood to the brain.
So those who are trying the headstand, if you're unable to come up even with the back straight, just watch your elbows. Your elbows have to be shoulder width apart and not more than the shoulder width apart. If your elbows are too wide, you don't get balance. Watch it once. And also you put too much pressure on the neck if the elbows are too wide. Let's go in for the variation with legs apart. Widen the legs as much as, can, as you can and hold it there, breathe. Keep the abdomen pulled in, back straight. It's a very simple variation, do not worry. Take it easy. Now in the same position, twist your body to the right. Just keep going, very good. And come back to the center, twist your body to the left. A little more. That's very good. Come back to the center, join the legs together. Now bring one leg forward, other leg back, scissors. Try to bring the leg closer to the mat if you can. Okay, bring the legs together and switch the legs. Come back to the center. Now to come out of the posture, bend the knees, bring the knees to the chest and please come down. Relax into the child's pose. That's very good. Please sit up, lie down, take rest in Shavasan and turn the head side to side. Relax. Now take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers and give a nice stretch to the body, arms to the head, stretch your whole body. Release the stretch. Get ready for the shoulder stand cycle, arms close to the body, shoulders away from the ears and bring the chin to the chest. Legs together, toes pointing up. Inhale, raise the legs up. Exhale, swing the trunk up and support your back into the shoulder stand. If you've not done the hit stand, please take a while before you correct yourself. Now bend the knees to the forehead. Bring the elbows a little closer by moving the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Walk the hands towards the middle back. And please raise the legs up when you're ready. Once you are up, push the buttocks towards the head. Align the heels, the buttocks and the shoulders. If the neck is fine, please shift the body weight to the shoulders completely. If the neck is not good, partially distributed between the elbows and the shoulders. Once you're there, push your legs, relax the toes, the soles, the heels, the ankles. 
Relax the shins and the calves, the knees and the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Allow the free flow of blood towards the heart, towards the brain. Close your eyes and still the body. So this partial invigorates and rejuvenates the whole body as the name is Sarv Ang Asan. The Sanskrit name means it works on all parts of the body. And the English name shoulder stand means you're standing up on the shoulders. It naturally encourages deep abdominal breathing. As you may see, it's limiting the use of top part of your lungs. Stimulates the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. An amazing posture. Bringing youth to your face. Lengthen up a little more as you inhale and on the exhalation, bring the right leg over the head. Those who are not able to touch the foot down, please push the body for, uh, towards the head using your hands and bring the foot down. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg over the head. Inhale the left leg up. One more time, exhale the right leg down over the head. Inhale the right leg up, exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up, adjust your body, lengthen your back, move your hands towards the middle back and on the exhalation with control, bring both the legs over the head, inhalasan, the plow pose. Once the toes touch down and only if the toes touch down, bring your arms on the mat, you may lock the fingers, stretch your arms away from the body, pull them up. Knees away from the forehead. Just for a few breaths, be strong in the mind and hold the posture, breathing deeply into the abdomen. Giving such a beautiful massage to the abdominal organs, stimulating all the abdominal organs and working on each vertebra in the spinal column, working on the hamstrings to keep the knee straight. Feel a good stretch from heels to the tailbone, tailbone to the neck. If you pull the arms away from the body, you reduce the pressure on the neck. Watch this. Now we are ready to come out of the posture. Raise the, raise the feet off the mat, off the floor. Place the arms on the mat. Use your arms as brakes. One vertebra at a time. Please gently, slowly come down. Take your time. There's no hurry. With the abdominal control, bring the legs down. Take a breather, relax in Shavasan, turn the head side to side. Now for the bridge pose, Setu Bandhasan, bend the knees, place the feet on the mat, hold your ankles. Knees are hip width apart, feet are hip width apart. Inhale, raise the buttocks up and come up. Come up as high as you can, lift your buttocks up, make your thighs parallel to the mat, chest close to the chin. The entire series works on the thyroid and the parathyroid glands, complements the plow, reverses the stretch on the spine. Keep breathing. And slowly exhale, come down. Chakrasan, take your time and get ready. Hands under the shoulders, fingers turned inwards, heels close to the buttocks. As you inhale, raise the buttocks up, press the hands and come up. Hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, slowly come down. Bend the knees to the chest, press the back to the mat. And on the exhalation, raise the head up, chest and come up. 
Make a tight, small energy ball with your body with no tension in the neck and the shoulders. Chin, nose or the forehead stretching towards the knees. Lower back pressing on the mat. Breathe. And slowly exhale, bring the head and chest down, raise the legs up, inhale. Slowly, gently exhale, bring the legs down. Last in the sequence, Matsyas in the fish pose, come to stretch after the shoulders down. Slide your arms under the body, elbows closely hidden, hands stretching down. As you inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up on the elbows and look to the toes. Come up higher, raise the chest up, arch your back. As you exhale, bring the top of the head down on the mat. So head is very gently touching down. There is no pressure much on the head. Keep pressing on the elbows, reducing that pressure on the head of the neck. And as you notice the chest is so wide open, please don't forget to breathe deeply. Each breath touches the abdominal organs. And then travels back to the collarbones. Stay, breathe. Enhancing the breath, enhancing the lung capacity, strengthening the neck cervical region, relieving stiffness from the back and shoulders. Keep your awareness on the breath. Inhale, raise the head up, chest up, come up on the elbows, look at the toes and exhale, bring the body down. Bring the arms out, make fist around the thumbs, rotate the wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise. Gently turn the head side to side. Take rest, relax in Shavasana. And if you like to bend the knees, bring the soles together, do that. Supta Badakonasana. Adjust the feet according to your comfort. There's no hard and fast to it. Allow the inner thighs to relax. Knees come closer down to the mat. Keep the breath active. Every exhalation, contract the abdomen, press the back down. Take your time, join the knees together and stretch the legs forward. Give a nice long stretch to the body, stretch your whole body, stretch, 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 release the stretch, turn over and please sit up on the butterfly. Join the soles together. Hold the toes, sit up straight and flap your knees. Now, use the length of your mat and separate the legs apart. Bend the left knee, place the left foot along the right thigh and move the right leg at a slant outwards, correct. Stretch your arms up, inhale. As you exhale from the base of the spine, take your time, extend the body forward, place the hands down and just go as far down forward as you can. Keep moving your hands forward with the breath. 
as and when you're comfortable, try to move more forward along with the spine, along with the back, you're moving the body forward. Place the elbows down, relax the shoulders. Half butterfly forward stretch. Do not lift one side of the body up, resting, sitting bones completely on the mat. Center the body. Whatever little you do, you draw the benefits. You try to bring the elbows down if you're not able to come down. And also you can do one variation. If the elbows are down, uh, bend the elbows and cup the hands, place the chin on the cupped hands. Once you become comfortable, you can start moving your elbows forward. And there is another way of doing it. You can place a cushion under the elbows if the elbows don't rest down. This is the way we build, a, build on flexibility and day by day it improves. Inhale, slowly come up. Release your arms, exhale, interchange your legs. Let's do it with the left leg stretched outwards. Right foot is just touching the left thigh. Raise your arms up as you inhale, lengthen up. And as you exhale, very slowly, step by step, go down, stretching from the lower back, place the hands down, place the forearms, elbows down, and then move your elbows forward. You can cup your hands, place the chin on the hands, or you can place a cushion under the elbows. If your elbows are down, or if your elbows are on the cushion, move your elbows or slide the cushion a little more forward with the breath, do the practice. Inhale, slowly come up. Release your arms, exhale. Stretch both your legs forward, Paschimottanasana, sitting forward bend. Raise your arms up as you inhale, arms along the ears, pull up with your waist and on the exhalation, slowly stretch forward and come down. Try not to hold the heels, hold either the toes, hold the outer edges of the feet or place your hands anywhere on the legs if the body is rigid. You can also try separating the legs a little wide to be more comfortable that allows more forward bend. Not too much, just a little. And if the hamstrings are too tight, try bending the knees, hold the toes. And then with the breath, stretch your legs one by one forward along with the back. Stimulating the entire nervous system, invigorating the internal organs, reducing the belly fat, making the spine more youthful more flexible, every day coming for the practice, finding the changes in the body. Take your practice like a sadhana. It's not like a circus. You do one day and you skip 10 days. Slowly stretch your body forward, inhale, stretch up. And exhale, bring your hands behind, giving a nice compass stretch to the body. Head back, lift your buttocks up, inhale, come up. Come up as high as you can, trying to reach with your feet flat on the mat. Hold it here, 10. Keep breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Please lie down on your abdomen, take rest. In Matsi Kridasana, palms one on top of the other, place the right cheek on the palms, bend the right knee, bring the right knee close to the chest. Take a few breaths. As you may notice, the lungs are open, especially the left, and more breath draws into the lungs, moves into the lungs. Regular practice, consistent practice, surely gives benefits to the mind and the body. There's no doubt about it. 
Those who get scared with the practice, they skip the classes, that's not going to help. If you have any kind of temporary sickness, please don't avoid unless and until you have fever. Get ready for Bhujangasana. Stretch both the legs back, place the forehead down, tuck the elbows into the chest, fingertips in line with the shoulders. Elbows are close to the chest, elbows pointing up. First, get this initial position right. Inhale, raise the head up, chest up and come up. Keep the elbows sticking to the chest. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Lower abdomen on the mat. Massaging the abdominal organs, take it this way. So you have to press the lower abdomen on the mat. Press it down. Keep breathing. Relieving constipation. And also it's very effective in controlling the menstrual irregularities. Slowly as you exhale, please come down. Just 15 to 20 seconds of holding gives so much benefits to the body. Turn the head to the left, make a pillow, bend the left knee up and relax. Get ready for the locust shalabhasan. <clears throat> Bring your arms under the body, elbows closely hidden, and you may lock the fingers. You may make fist of the hands or place the hands down, legs together, toes pointing back, chin nicely stretched forward. Inhale, raise the right leg straight up without tilting the body one side. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down, left leg up, inhale, exhale down. Now get ready. After two breaths, we come up into full locust. Adjust your hand, arms position and visualize more strength in the arms to have an initial lift in the legs. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now get ready, inhale, lift both your legs up and come up into the locust shalabhasan. Do as much as you can with your knees straight. Breathe here, hold eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly come down. Please your arms, make a pillow, turn the head one side, relax, big toes touching, heels fall apart. Locust works mainly on the lower half of the body and strengthens the abdomen, the lower back, the legs. Nanurasan, the bow pose, forehead down, bend the knees, hold your ankles. Knees are just hip distance apart. If you have a stiff back, you may widen the knees when you come up and then bring them closer after coming up. As you inhale, raise the knees up, thighs up. Let the head and chest pull up, come up. Stretch the chin up, close your eyes, relax the face. Very good. Feel a good pressure on the abdomen, working on all the internal organs in the abdomen and combining the effects of the previous two backward bends which you've just done, the cobra and the locust. Tones the back muscles, keep the spine elastic and flexible. Hold five, lift up, four, three, a two and one, slowly come down. Just for a while, rest with head to the other side, give an equal stretch into the neck. It reduces the abdominal fat and uh, uh, keeps the digestive and reproductive systems very healthy. Now place the hands under the shoulders, give a good stretching to the back, come up on the knees and the hands for Marjoriasan. Knees under the hips, Hands wrist under the shoulders. Inhale, arch your back, stretch the chin forward. Push your hip back. Saroj, so move the knees just a little back. 
Exhale, round your back, tuck the chin in and tuck the abdomen. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, round your back. Come back to the neutral position. And please rest and relax into the child's pose. Make it wide angle child's pose, knees wide apart as much as possible. Big toes touching, sit between the heels, bring the chest down and the chin or the forehead down. Arms are already extended forward. Stay and breathe. Slowly sit up, join the knees together. Let's get ready for the half spinal twist. Lower the body down to the right side. Bring the left foot across the right thigh, half spinal twist, Ardha Masinrasana. Place the left hand behind near the tailbone. Stretch your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist your body to the left. Push, your, uh, push the outside of the left knee with your upper right arm. Try catching hold of the ankle, but just keep pushing the knee inwards, that's all. Turn the head towards the left shoulder and make sure you sit equally on both the sitting bones. Don't lift one body cup. And also become aware of your shoulders. Shoulders have to be in one line. If not, move the left foot a little forward without making any other change to the body. Close your eyes and enjoy the pressure taking place in the abdomen. Losing fat from the whole body, the hips, the thighs, the buttocks, and the, and the abdomen, the upper body. Working so deeply to stimulate the abdominal organs. Inhale, stretch your right arm up, and exhale, release, change the side. Lower the body down to the left, bring the right foot across the left thigh, place the right hand close to the tailbone. Raise the left arm up as you inhale, lengthen up first, and then exhale, twist nicely towards the right, push the outside of the right knee with your upper left arm and hold the ankle. Or just push the knee inwards or just hug the knee closely to the chest. Look to the right shoulder, just facing the wall in front, shoulders in one line, sitting on the sitting bones equally, if not feeling good pressure on the abdomen, you need to move the knee more in. And don't lean forward there, just straight in the back. Working on the spinal column, rotating the vertebrae in each direction when you twist the body to the side, to both sides. That keeps the spine elastic and flexible. Inhale, raise the left arm up and exhale, release, bring both the knees to the chest, sit up straight. Let's give some relaxation to the neck. Inhale, stretch your chin up, close the mouth and back straight. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, turn the head right. Inhale, center, gently. Exhale, turn the head left. Inhale, center. Exhale, bring the head down towards the right shoulder. Feel a good stretch in the left side of the neck. Inhale, center, and exhale to the other side. Inhale, come up. Now, let's do the crow pose, Kakasan. Come up into the squatting position. Make a rough square with your hands and the feet. Turn the hands slightly inwards with fingers separated. Press the knees on the upper arms. Look at a point in front. Transfer the body weight from 
feet to the hands, from toes to the hands, until the feet lift up. Just find your balance, concentrating on this point. Hold and breathe. And for the beginners, it's essential to keep the elbows bent, at least the posture. If you do it with the elbows straight in the beginning, you won't get it. It takes time to build up strength in the arms. <coughs> Please release and start up. Standing forward bend. <coughs> Bring your feet together. Come to the front of the mat. Inhale, stretch your arms up along the ears. Stretch up. As you exhale, stretch your body forward and come down. Hold the back of the legs anywhere possible for you. Reach up to the ankles. Keep the toes separated. Let the space between the toes breathe and transfer the body weight from heels evenly spreading towards the toes. The chest is close to the thighs, forehead or chin close to the knees, top of the head reaching down towards the mat, towards the feet. Now watch your head, neck and the shoulders. Just let go in the neck and the shoulders and the spine. Allow the free flow of blood towards the head giving similar benefits that you do when you hold the headstand. So just let go in the upper body. Keep the knees straight, work on the hamstrings now lift. Makes the spine elastic, enhances the memory, stretches the hamstrings. Now to release, soften the knees, dangle your arms loose, gently, one vertebra at a time, uncurl the body, come up, chin comes in the end. Giving a counter stretch, feet apart, hip distance, support the back. Drop the head back, push the buttocks forward. Breathe here. And slowly come up. Let's get ready for the Trikonasana triangle pose using the length of the mat, separate the legs three to four feet apart. Now turn the right foot to the right, left foot is turned slightly in. So watch the position of your feet. There are two ways you can keep the heels in one straight line or your right foot. The right heel can be positioned to the center of the arch of the left foot. Any two ways you choose, but be comfortable. Stretch your left arm up along the left ear as you inhale, lengthen up. And as you exhale, bend from the waist across to the right. Don't lean forward, move in, uh, sorry, look in front or look up. Allow the body to bend more down by sliding the right hand down the right leg. But listen to your body. Keep breathing. Inhale, slowly come up. And exhale, release your arm down. Change the side, feet pointing forward, then turn the left foot out and the right foot in, hips facing forward. Now inhale, stretch the right arm up along the ear, lengthen up the right side, relax the right shoulder, or sorry, left shoulder. Exhale, bend down to the left side. Feel a good stretch in the entire right side of the body this time. Keep breathing, hold. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, come down, bring the hand down. Now we do one last posture, that's Shirsha Angushtasana, feet pointing forward, separate the legs a little wider. Now turn the uh, right foot to the right and turn the upper body also to the right. Interlock the hands behind, lock the fingers, pull the arms behind, open the chest as you inhale. Now as you exhale, Come forward and down, bend the right knee. Bend the right knee and try to bring the chin, nose or forehead by the side of the right foot touching down to the floor. Widen the legs, easy the posture and now move the arms away from the body, bringing the arms closer down towards the floor. That's the way your head comes down more. Inhale, slowly come up and exhale, release the posture. Please change the side. Feet pointing forward, turn the left foot out and turn the upper body also to the left. Interlock your fingers behind, stretch your arms, pull your arms, open the chest, inhale. 
And as you exhale, start bending forward, bend the left knee and try to bring the head down towards the floor, any part of the face. Keep moving the arms up and away from the body. Stay here for a few breaths. Just understand what you're doing and do accordingly. Inhale, come up. That's very good. Release your arms, exhale. Check out your arms if you have tension. Bring the legs together. Come to the front of the mat. Please sit down and lie down. Take rest in Shavasana. Time for fun relaxation. And this is the time we integrate the benefits of the practice. <coughs> the 90 minutes practice. Just take a while, slow down the breath. Slow down the body parts. Absorb the sensations and the vibrations taking place in the body. Sorry. Now for the tensing and relaxing of the body parts. Raise the right leg two inches up, tense the right leg, tense it, tense, tense and drop it down. Left leg, tense the leg up, tense, tense and drop. Lift the buttocks up off the mat, tight, tight, tight and release. Press the small of the back to the mat, press it down, let go. Raise the chest off the mat, tense it, tense, tense and drop it down. Move the shoulders into the ears. And move the shoulders away from the ears. Raise the arms up two inches. Clench your fingers tight around the thumbs. Tighten the fist, tighten the arms. Now open the fingers apart and tense round shoulders to the fingertips. Tense, tense, tense and drop. Make a tight ugly face, tensing all the facial muscles to the nose. Tense the face, tense, tense and release. Open the mouth wide, stretch your tongue out. Open the eyes wide and stretch all the facial muscles. Look with the forehead, stretch, stretch and let go. Close the mouth. Move the shoulders down very gently. Move the head to the right. Try to bring the right cheek to the mat. Come back to the center. Move the head to the left in the same way. Back to the center. Make the final adjustment to the body with shoulders away from the ears, arms at six to eight inches away from the body and chin is towards the chest. Turn the palms up, curl the fingers in, legs are comfortably apart, let the feet relax to the sides. And once again, scan the body. If any part of the body is tight, just let go. Mentally relaxing the toes, the soles, the he heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves, the knees and the thighs. Relax the buttocks, relax the hip joint. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Bring the awareness to the back, relaxing the lower back, the middle back and the upper back. Relax the vertebral column. to the arms, relaxing the fingers, the palms and the wrists. Relax the forearms, the elbows and the arms. Relax the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Relax the neck the head and the face, sees out all the expressions from the face.
Relaxing all the internal organs of the body. Relax the mind. Let go of the mind. Relax. 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 Bring the awareness back to the body. Move the toes, move the fingers, move the feet and the hands, shake out the legs and the arms. Very gently turn the head side to side. Take a deep breath, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up. Give a nice stretch to the body, stretch your whole body. Raise the stretch, bend the knees, turn over, take your time, take support with your hand and sit up for the final prayer.
Vasitoma Satgamaya, Tamsoma Jyoti Gamaya, Breath your mom, Ritam Gamaya. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna, Purnamudachite, Purnasya Purnamadaya, Purnameva Vashishyate, Om Shanti 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 Thanks to our masters, Hari Om Thank you, everybody.